here I've got the maths grader higher mini mock one. So it's non calculator. Question one. We're multiplying fractions here and we've been given our fractions as mixed numbers. We can't multiply fractions as mixed numbers. So our first step is going to be to change the fractions so they're top heavy. The first fraction I've got is two and one half. I've got two whole ones and one half. So when we're dealing with halves, two whole ones is two times two, four halves. So I've got four halves and one half, which means I've got five halves. And for the second fraction, this time we're in thirds. So one whole one is three thirds. Three thirds and one third, that makes four thirds. So now we just need to multiply the fractions. To multiply fractions, we times the top, times the bottom. Five times four is 20. Two times three is six. And I can simplify my fraction as well. 20 and six are both in the two times table. So I can well, half the top and half the bottom. So my answer is 10 thirds. Question two. So we've got negative and fractional indices now. Whenever we have a power of a half, power of a half means square root. So anything to the power of the half is the same as its square root. And whenever we've got a negative, a negative power, that means do the reciprocal or flip. So we're going to square root this one and flip it. So we're going to square root the top and the bottom. Square root of 16, that's 4. And square root of 64 is 8. Now we're going to flip it over. So 4 over 8 to the power of minus 1 is 8 over 4. And I can simplify this even more because 8 divided by 4 is 2. The second part, so this time we've still got a minus, which means flip. A three on the bottom, when we've got a power of third, it doesn't mean square root, it means cube root. So that we're going to cube root it. And a two in the power, that means square. So we need to do three things this time. We need, we need to flip square and cube root. We can do them in any order, but squaring 27 is going to be very hard. So if we cube root first, so the cube root of 1 is just 1, and the cube root of 27 is 3. 3 times 3 times 3 makes 27. So now I've done the cube root, I still need to flip and square. So if I square it now, 1 squared is 1, 3 squared is 9, and now all that's left to do is flip. So 1 over 9 flipped over is 9 over 1, or just 9. Question 3. A train ticket currently costs £270 after being increased in price by 50%. Work out the original price. So when we see original price, we know we're dealing with reverse percentages. So the percentage change has already happened. So we started off with 100% and we've added on 50%. So we now have 150%. So £270 is 150%. I need to get back to 100%. I don't have a calculator. So what can I divide by? I could divide by 15 and that'll give me 10% because 
because 150 divided by 15 is 10. Or it may be easier to divide by 3 this time. So if I divide by 3, 150 divided by 3 is 50%. So if I divide 270 by 3, 27 divided by 3 is 9. And add on the 0. So 50% is £90. So we know the increase was... 90 pounds 100 percent is either 150 percent take away 50 percent or two lots of 50 percent and that makes 180 so the original price was 180 pounds and if we add on 50 percent to 180 pounds we get 270 pounds Okay, question four. And we've got a third question. Below is a shape made of two rectangles. Calculate the unshaded area. So the shaded area is this bit here. So the unshaded area is going to be the area of the big rectangle. Take away the area of the small rectangle. So the area of big our big rectangle is what's well, the length times the width so it's root six times root six plus two root six times root six is six and root six times two is two root six so that's the area of the big rectangle for the small rectangle Again, base times height or length times width, 2 times root 6, which is 2 root 6. So the unshaded area is the area of the big rectangle. Take away the area of the small rectangle. So 6 plus 2 root 6, take away 2 root 6. That's just 6. 2 root 6, take away 2 root 6 is nothing, which leaves us with 6 centimetres squared. Question 5. Here we've got a simultaneous equations question. And to solve simultaneous equations, we're going to use elimination. And to eliminate, we need to make either the x is the same or the y is the same. So if I make the x is the same, I'm going to times the top one by 3 and the bottom one by 4. So the whole top line by 3 and the whole bottom line by 4. So 3 times 4x is 12x. 3 times 2y is 6y. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And the bottom line, 4 times 3x is 12x, so made the x is the same. 4 times 3y, that's 12y. And 4 12s are 48. So now we're going to eliminate our x's, and we do that by taking away. So 12x take away 12x is going to be nothing, so our x will be eliminated. So 12x take away 12x is nothing. 6y take away 12y, 6 take away 12 is minus 6y, and minus 6 minus 48, so minus 6 minus another 48 is minus 54. And if I want to get y by itself, I need to get rid of a times by minus 6. To get rid of a times by minus 6, I divide by minus 6. So it's minus 54 divided by minus 6. How many minus 6s go into minus 54? Or how many 6s go into 54? That's 9. So y is 9. And I'm going to use that 9 to find out x. So I'm going to take that 9 and I'm going to substitute it back in to the top equation. So that gives me 
4x plus 2 times 9 equals negative 2. 2 times 9 is 18. So I've got 4x plus 18 is negative 2. I'm going to get rid of plus 18. To get rid of plus 18, I'm going to do the opposite, which is minus 18. So I'm going to take 18 away from both sides. Minus 2 minus 18 is minus 20. And divide both sides by 4. Minus 20 divided by 4 is minus 5. So x is minus 5 and y is 9. I can check that in the second equation. So 3 minus 5s is minus 15 plus 3 9s. So minus 15 plus 27 is 12. So I know it's right. Question 6. Calculate exactly 0 0.7 recurring multiplied by 0 0.4 recurring, leaving your answer as a fraction. So I'm going to change these recurring decimals into fractions. So if I've got 0 0.7 recurring, I'm going to change that into a fraction by calling it x. I'm going to multiply both sides by 10. So I've got 7.7 .7 recurring equals 10x. So what I've done is I've got two things ending in 7 recurring. And when I've got two things ending in 7 recurring, I can get rid of it by taking them away. So I'm going to do the bottom line, take away the top line here. So 10x, take away 1x is 9x. And 7.7 .7 recurring take away 0 0.7 recurring is 7. And if I want to get x by itself, at the moment it's times by 9. So the opposite is divide by 9. So divide both sides by 9. And that tells you x is 7 ninths. I'm going to do the same thing with my 0 0.4 recurring. I'm going to call it x. I'm going to multiply both sides by 10. So I've got two things ending in the 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. I'm going to do the bottom one, take away the top one. 4.4 recurring, take away 0 0.4 recurring is 4. 10x, take away 1x is 9x. So x is, dividing both sides by 9, 4 ninths. So 0 0.7 recurring, or 7 ninths, multiplied by 4 ninths, 0 0.4 recurring, times the top, 7 times 4 is 28, times the bottom, 9 nines are 81. And that's my answer. So leaving your answer as a fraction, 28 over 81. Question 7. So we've got f of x is 2x minus 8. g of x is x squared. Solve g f, x, g f of x equals 144. So we need to know what g f x is. So it's called a composite function. And we're going to put f into g. So we're putting all of f. So all of f in for g. So wherever x is in g, we're going to put our f function. So it's the same as doing g of 2x minus 8. And that means we're changing x into 2x minus 8. So it's 2x minus 8 squared. So g f x is 2x minus 8 all squared and that equals 144 so 2x minus 8 all squared equals 144 so I'm going to expand these double brackets which is 2x minus 8 times 2x minus 8 equals 144 2x times 2x is 4x squared 
2x times a negative 8, negative 16x. Negative 8 times 2x is also negative 16x. And negative times a negative is a positive, and 8 times 8 is 64. So now I've got, I've got 4x squared, take away 32x, and if I subtract 144 from both sides, 64, take away 144, if I take away 44 first, that's going to give me 20, and then take away 100, minus 80. So I've got 4x squared minus 32x minus 80 equals 0. I've got a quadratic. I want to factorise it, but firstly, I'm going to divide through by 4, so I can make it a lot easier for myself if I divide each term by 4. So 4x squared divided by 4 is just x squared. 32x divided by 4 is 8x. And 80 divided by 4 is 20. So I've divided everything by 4. And I've got a much easier quadratic equation now. So I'm going to factorise it. x in both brackets. What multiplies to give me 20, or negative 20, and adds up to a negative 8, it's going to be 2 and 10, and it's going to be plus 2 minus 10, which means my answers are x equals negative 2 and x equals 10.